Никак. To another episode of Celtic Tries. So today we will be trying absinthe. And I have waited so long to try absinthe. I have never had absinthe in my life, surprisingly, believe it or not. I can never find it anywhere. I'm actually very happy we actually found it today. Yeah, he's been salivating watching it on other drinking channels for years. That and when uh, I saw it, I just grabbed it. I'm just like, I don't care. I'm spending the money to get absent <laughs> So let's see how this tastes. So this brand of absinthe is called Mount Defiance Distillery. So yeah, we're gonna see how this tastes. Sláinte. Well, did it live up to all your expectations? I'm trying to think what the hell that tastes like. There's a certain thing it tastes like. It's like very fiery though. Almost like licorice. That's what I'm trying to think of. It's really good. It tastes almost, almost like licorice, not completely. But it's got a good flavor to it. You can definitely tell it. It definitely has a not as much of a kick as some other things I've had, but it definitely lives up to exactly what I wanted and expected. Anyways, we will see you later. Whoa. Today I'll be trying absinthe as well. Smells like licorice, and it has a hint of something else. I can't tell what it is, but maybe I'll find out once I drink it. It's terrible. Cilantro. You okay Excuse there, right? pirate? Excuse me. That's what happens when you have a burp when you swallow. Oh, jeez. <laughs> so Licorice, you... herbs, and it burns. <laughs> and there's a little bit left. <laughs> what do you think overall, though? What's your opinion? Good or not? In your opinion, do you like it? I'm not sure yet. <laughs> I'm not sure whether I like it or not because of how much it burns, but at the same time, the taste is weird. It has a decent flavor though, doesn't it? I don't know yet. It's, my mind doesn't still, know what to make of this. Still burning? Yeah. It's not the burning, it's my mind doesn't know what to make of this. Alright. Anyways, see you all later. Welcome back. It's my turn to try the apparently burning herb juice with a hint of licorice, or a lot of licorice, depending on which one of those two you want to believe. Cilantro. So what do you think? That's a, a lot of licorice taste. Now, if you know me, I'm not a big fan of licorice. However, the burning herb feeling does help a bit, just because the more it burns, the quicker the licorice evaporates in terms of taste. Anyways, overall, I'd say it's good, but you'll really enjoy it if you like licorice. If you don't, it's kind of a 50-50 toss-up. Cheers. And that's it for this episode of Celtic Talks. See you later. Go. Yeah. Hi, so, uh... Just just a heads up, so we decided to take the absinthe straight 
Now, if you're not as hardcore as us when it comes to that, fine. There is a um, little thing on the bottle that tells you you can dilute it with three to five parts of water per one part of absinthe, and it will dilute it. We took it straight, so honestly, you don't have to. But if you want to, more power to you. Um, I actually enjoyed it straight. I don't think I would dilute it with water. This is 140 proof, but I'm honestly just feeling relaxed and not much else. So, but honestly, if you want to, I just figured we put this at the end of the video just to let you know you can dilute it with water. All right. And we will see you later. Drive safe and don't drink and drive.